trouble here over the holidays. I uh, was playing tag with a squirrel in the car and um, kind of drove through the department store window and ruined the whole store. Now come in, you must. All right, let's get this over with. Freedom, you want. Task first, you must complete. Talk to these individuals. Find know what they do. Shoo! Well, howdy, folks. We got us here, city boy, coming on in. What you think about that? My, my mama said that the, the, the city boys, they, they, they are the devil. Well, high five for that one right there. Now, Bobby Boucher, I can assure you I am not the devil. I'm just somebody coming to try to talk to you guys about what you do in Christmas because I just felt like talking to you guys. Talk is cheap. I talk with these. Righty and lefty. <laughs> well, Arnold, I'm pretty sure that's why you're here in the first place. I mean, it's jail. Well, I guess I'd like to start, um, you know, with just what you guys did for Christmas when you were kids. Yeah? Sounds good. Well, you see, when I was a child, me and my father went to go chase other kinds of animals and just track them down, like for instance, dingoes. Dingoes were always my favorite when I was a child, and we would just collect data on them so we could know how to better coexist with them. Phew, what you talking about up there catching them dingoes? I used to eat them. Well, eating animals isn't exactly something you should do. It's very harmful and can sometimes drive a race to extinction. See what me and my daddy used to do, we used to go out there, we'd just hog tie them up and we'd toss them over the fire and then we'd take a bite and just eat them up, they taste it. You, sir, are disgusting. A disgrace to the human race. If I, w I would pop you right in the face and you would just, oh, I just can't even. Calm and cool, collect it, all right. Guys, guys, come on. I mean, it's Christmas, we're trying to, it's holiday seasons. Just, come on, don't, yeah, you're making me look bad. Mr. Bobby, why don't you tell us about your Christmas experiences? You, you, want, you want me to talk? Uh, okay, okay. Um, well, when, when I was a little boy, my, my mom would sit me around the, the Christmas tree and she would tell me that there was, there was these elves on the shelves and they was watching me. And sometimes I got, I got so scared that I would, I would hide a, hide a uh, pitchfork under my, under my pillow because my mom also said that, that uh, the pitchfork, it, wards away the uh, elves on the shelf because it's one of the many tools of the devil. When I was a child, my father used to tell me, Hey, don't eat those cookies. They make you fat. So I never ate any cookies. Instead, I worked out. That's what I got for my first one-year birthday. I got the whole gym. You know what happens when you get the whole gym for your first year birthday? <laughs> you see that? That's called muscles. You don't have any, none of you, except for you a little bit. <laughs> you work out. Anyways, that's about all my Christmas was. Every year, working out. How else are you supposed to become Mr. Olympia? How else? <sighs> all right, um, so yeah, working out's great. Everyone likes to work out. Um, so, I'm sorry, Mr. Sorry, I forgot your name. I was just gonna add a question for Mr. Bobby Boucher real quick. You see, I've been trying to obtain one of those elves you were talking about for quite some time. And I was wondering how you were able to capture such an elusive creature, because I've been wanting to get one on my show forever. Well, um, M Mr. Alligator Man, I, I'm very sorry, but the elves are ra rather discourteous to me, and sometimes when, when I think about them, I, my mind just kind of gets all locked up, and I, and a 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 What's the matter with you boys? Sound like you got an old pork chop stuck in throat. Well, um, I'm I'm very sorry, but my mama said that it it makes me special, and it's just because I am lacking in the social skills. Social skills? What do you need those for? You need actions. Actions speak louder than words. 
unless your words are All right, all right, enough. I can't take it anymore. I'm about to lose every one of the hairs I have on my head. You guys are messed up. Seriously, I mean like super buff. I'm from Austria, man. I'm going to punch you in the face. What's your problem? And then you got Bobby Boucher over here, who seems like a good man, but he's weirder than cinnamon toast and mayonnaise. Then we got Country Man, which I can't really comment about because I'm from the South, too. And then we got Mr. Australian. We're in America. How are you supposed to be? Uh, I mean, it's melting pot of cultures, but uh, oh my gosh, I thought I had problems. So I, I just, I'm sorry. I'm out of here. It's over. Good work, my children. Lesson, I am sure, well learned. City boy cannot handle our craziness, but will not worry about that. So I say to you all, Merry Christmas and have a wonderful holiday season.